Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to continue talking about Niagara and audio in Unreal 4. Specifically, we're going to continue talking about what we can do with the Play Audio module. Now, to get this started, I've imported a few sound waves and I've converted them into sound cues. And I'll just play them real quick. Now, the only difference between the sound waves and the sound cues are that I've combined both of the harmony into one sound cue so that they can be randomized. Now, to actually get this started, I'm going to right click in the content browser and I'm going to create a Niagara emitter from an empty blank template. And then we'll give it a name, NE, whatever you want to call it. And then let's go and set this up. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to add a spawn rate to emitter update. And I'm going to set this to something like 0 0.24. And then in initialize particle, we're going to set the sprite size mode to uniform. And then that size, we make that something like 30. And now I want to add some velocity so our particles are falling. So in particle update, I'm going to add velocity. And then we'll make sure we click on fixed issue so we get solve forces and velocity. And now in the Z, I'm going to make this negative three. So for the last step, we're going to add collision. So in particle update, I'm going to look for collision. And then we'll make sure that this is above soft forces and velocity. And now we can save this because now I want to go and make sure that the collision is working. So in our content browser, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a Niagara system and we'll just name it correctly. So it says NS. And then let's just drag this out just so that we can make sure the collision's working. We'll wait for it. And it's good to go. So back in our Niagara emitter, now we can talk about audio. So the first thing I want to do is I want to play an audio cue when my particles spawn in. So one way that we would do that is in particle spawn, we can add a play audio. And we'll just dismiss this issue. So in sound to play, I'm going to add my sound cue. You can add whatever you want. I'm going to add my flare and play once per particle is turned on. And then this is going to be based on the particles play audio parameter. And by default, this is set to false. So we need to set this. So in particle spawn, I'm going to add a set, set new or existing parameter. And then we want to make sure that this set is above play audio because we want to set the parameter before the audio is played. So in the set, I'm going to look for play audio, and then we're going to set this to true. And now if we save this and we go and save our Niagara system, and then we drag this out into the world, we should hear audio. Perfect. Now, for the other way to play audio, we're going to come into particle spawn again. We're going to add another play audio. And we'll just dismiss issue. And we'll pick a different sound to play. So I'm going to do my harmony. And then for the play audio condition, instead of play audio, I'm going to do alive, data instance alive. Basically, what this is saying is, is your particle alive or did it die? And now we'll save this and we'll save our Niagara system. And now let's go and see what this does. And it only plays, unfortunately, it only plays the first audio cue. And what's going on here is that you're trying to play two audio cues at the exact same time. And that seems to be a limitation of the play audio. You either only want one to play at a specific time or you want them to be offset. So if we turn off our first play audio and we save this and we save our Niagara system and we drag this out again and we'll wait for it. Well, now we don't hear anything. So what's going on now? So in our Niagara emitter, for our second play audio, the condition that we're basing this on, this data instance alive, because it's in particle spawn, this data instance alive is not getting updated. 
So now if we take this play audio and put it at the bottom and we save it and we save our Niagara system and we drag this out, Now we should hear something. So I'm gonna delete this again and I'll open up our Niagara emitter because now I wanna flip this around. So say that we didn't wanna play this on spawn, but instead we wanted to play this when our particle dies. So the way that we would do that is by removing the data instance and instead we're going to look for invert, invert bowl. And now in here, we're gonna put that alive. And maybe we'll bump up the volume a little bit, set that to three. Now let's save our Niagara emitter and we'll save our Niagara system. We'll just minimize this and we'll drag this out. And now we should hear our audio playing when it dies. So we'll wait for the spawn, it's bouncing. And there you go, audio when it dies. Cool. So now that we have this condition at a different time, we can turn our other play audio back on and we'll save this and we'll save our Niagara system. And now we should hear a sound at the beginning and a sound at the end. Or not. So once again, these audio modules are experimental, but what you notice is, once again, these two are competing for each other, and for some reason, this doesn't want to trigger. Now the way that I've gotten around it is the play once per particle. If we turn that off, and we save this, and we save our Niagara system, and we drag this out, now because that's unticked, we should hear an audio at the beginning, and at the end, when the particle dies. There you go. Now to fully wrap this up, I want to add some audio when the particle collides. So I'm just going to copy and paste that audio and we can even rename this. So it just says audio collision and we're going to change the sound to play to be our first spawn and we'll make sure the volume is set to one so it's not too loud. And the condition here is going to be collision valid. So if we look for collision, we have collision valid. And now if this isn't showing up for you, it's because your audio isn't below collision. So we'll just save this and we'll save our Niagara system. And now let's drag this out and see what we have. So that does sound cool, but I'm pretty sure I made a mistake. So if we come back, so if we come back to our emitter, you can hear that the audio is playing constantly because we have this invert bull on. So we'll just revert that and we will add our collision valid here without that invert and we'll save again and we'll save our Niagara system. And now we can drag this out and the collisions should sound correct. Now, if you felt like, now if you felt like the audio was too loud on the collision, you could also come to any one of these pitch, volume, start time. But the volume, we can change this into a curve, so that over time, this will change in value and it'll fade out. So we'll add another key here. We'll just set this to one, about there. Just hold to about here. And that should be good. And we'll also, let's just smooth this out, auto. And we'll save this. And we'll save the Niagara system. And now let's go and drag our Niagara system out.
And yeah, if you guys thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.